NYC fragrance family, Joe with another video. Today I have another fragrance from the house of Truly. You know, I went and blind bought, I think, five fragrances if I remember correctly. And I'm probably, there's a couple more that I think I'm going to pick up because so far I'm actually enjoying these fragrances. So the fragrance I'm talking to you about today is Truly 1881 Essential. See that? 1881 and scripted on the back it's got a plastic cap but it's on tight spray the atomizer is actually pretty nice the citrus is in the air and I get a touch of that vetiver it's a really nice fragrance this brand brings in good value from what I see so far I'm not disappointed pretty much by any of the ones that I've picked up this one here has citruses in the top of mandarin bergamot and grapefruit in your mid, you get the herbaceousness. You get artemisia, you get basil, and some pepper for a touch of spiciness. In the dry down, you got the cedar and the vetiver, which give it that nice woody touch. And then you got a nice little hint of oak moss to balance it all out and give you that mossy, slightly mossy vibe. This to me is a spring and fall fragrance, mostly during the day. But I see that you could probably wear it as a summer night time fragrance or a summer date fragrance if we ever start dating again. Well, not me, but if, you know, the people that are dating start dating again, <laughs> this could be a fragrance that you might want to pick up. You know, they're coming in at around $30, most of the Chiruti fragrances, and they're pretty good values. The longevity on this one is actually pretty good for a cheap fragrance. I got around six to seven hours on it. And it was a really good wearing and the sillage or scent bubble, so to speak, stayed with me most of the day. I would say a good three to four hours. And then even later on at the six hour mark, I got a slight waft of it and I could smell it on my skin. So it's actually for a cheap fragrance, pulling in really good. This brand, I know there's a couple more, like I said, that I want to pick up. I think Signature is one of them. There's another one I think of recent release called Riviera that I think is only available in Europe right now. but I like what they're doing. I, you know, for the prices that they're coming in at, I think they're good value. And you don't hear many people talking about this brand. Me being of an Italian upbringing, having a thing, an affinity towards Italian things, I kind of seeked it out. I knew the name Truity. I knew it existed, but you don't see much talk about it. You hear about Zenio all the time. I hear about Ferragamo. You hear about Dolce and Gabbana. You hear about Armani. You know, most of the bigger popular Italian brands, but you don't hear much about Chiruti, which, okay. You know, there's some people that may say, well, they don't hear about it because it's garbage. That's why it's so cheap. My opinion is, so far, I mean, I've had a good wearing of sport, which I wore, wore to work and I had, had it on and I enjoyed it through the day. I wore black, which surprised me as well because I thought it was just going to be something boring and basic, but... It was a fun wear as well. This one here, I think, out of the ones on first impressions, I really like this one. And then when I wore it, I liked it even more. So, so far out of the 1881s, this seems to be my favorite. I have two more that I have to wear and test, and I'm gonna probably review those as well. And I know I gotta come back with a review on black, because I did review sport, but I did not review black. So I'm gonna give you that. But I figured I would save black, because it's more of a fall fragrance rather than a summer fragrance but all in all i'm finding good value in this brand and i'm you know i blind bought and i could say i'm pretty happy with the blind buys you know you could talk about synthetics and so on and so forth yes i understand these aren't niche fragrances they're not mind-blowing but they are serviceable and what i mean by serviceable means kind of like the way i was told a long time ago i used to watch gary vaynerchuk when he did wine library tv and if a wine was 10 15 dollars or a cheaper wine and it tasted good and you enjoyed drinking it it was term serviceable same thing with fragrances for me if a fragrance is cheap i enjoy the wearing it smells nice i could pass on a recommendation i could or i could say hey it's okay you know it's good or not good or tell you what's lacking or not lacking 
But in this case, like I consider it serviceable. It's a wearable fragrance. It's serviceable, it's good, it performs well, and it comes in at a good price. Can't really ask for too much more. Now, citrus aromatics, woody aromatics may not be your thing, then go to the next video. But if they are, this is worth checking out, especially at the price point. At least I think so. So, NYC Fragrance Family, new viewers, thank you for checking me out. New subscribers, thank you for joining the NYC Fragrances Family. And my NYC Fragrance Family, who's been there supporting me from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. And until the next time, remember, if you smell good, you feel good. Have a nice day. Thank you.